Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. Today I'm going to give some explanation about UDP and how to communicate from sender to receive use, using UDP protocol. So I will directly go to that uh, example. So first of all I have uh, to means to make Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. Today I'm going to give some, uh, some how to develop uh, U UDP example in cshop.net. So to communicate to uh, UDP protocol, we need a network server. So since uh, we don't have anything, so I have created, I, uh, so I, I enable UDP uh, in my computer itself. So it will act as a server. So for that I need to create the two rules. So to come to here Windows Defender Firewall, first we have to search Windows Defender Defender Firewall. So if uh, in control panel, once you open that, and we have to go to Advanced Settings. So once you click the advanced settings, this window will come. Here, here we need to create a two rules. One is inbound, one is outbound. In inbound rule, you have to create a new rule. And here you have to select port TCP or UDP. So we have uh, this option you need to select and go go to and here does this rule up, apply to TCP or UDP select UDP since we are looking and uh, since I uh, here I don't want to mention any specific uh, port, ports so I am creating rule for it's for all port and hello uh, uh, select this one hello the connection this includes connection that that are ported with IP as well as the those are not so I am selecting first option since this is an only example I am selecting uh, all open options and uh, these are all uh, also I have selected and once you click the next you have to give the name and description so then the, there is one rule will created for that that is UDP so since I have already created I just showed how to create so this, these are my settings so it is the general and if you want some uh, reliable then you have to select to proper uh, options uh, that is for inbound and there is a outbound also you need to create I created the same options for outbound also or uh, inbound outbound with the same options once you created these rules then my UDP server is my in my system itself then once these settings are done then you have to come you have to come to c-sharp programming so i already developed that programming program here you can find that example this is the basic example you will find everywhere anywhere in uh, once you uh, go, searched in google so here uh, this is the IP, my listener so this is uh, indirectly my listener so it will uh, work with my ip address my computer IP address once you uh, this is the code so it is going to you have to create the object for uh, UDP client and uh, IP is any and uh, so once you run that it will wait for a uh, wait for uh, 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 sender uh, message so once it receives sender message it will do, do further options so this is my code this is very simple code you can find in Google or Microsoft Docs then you need to run this one so if you all success I mean if you don't create that inbound rules uh, this code won't work and uh, even though if it running so nobody will, will be able to connect so, uh, until unless so these rules are allowed uh, this is my listener is ready it start it start to it is ready to listen 
so here uh, one uh, this is the step you have to give your your system computer ip to uh, since i have enabled to uh, udp in my system so you have to provide your computer ip once these options are done you have to provide your ip address here and uh, this this is all also general code you will find in doc but only the difference is, is you have to give your computer ID, computer ip or uh, uh, means the uh, proper server ad, server ip address since i have uh, means uh, configured my system itself is server so i have created my ip address and uh, this code is uh, uh, means it will uh, start loop, looping continuously until unless it has data if it if it doesn't have the loop the loop will end that is the code once the means the, your clients also ready so here my so my broadcaster is waiting for uh, information and here i am sending my information to broadcaster i have not sent yet so let's send hi welcome to C C11 TV so I am sending my details to broadcaster let's see that if you observe here that information has been received to my broadcast so if you wanted to send again thanks for your example you see here I have uh, the broadcaster received information so this how using UDP we can able to uh, communicate to or send the details to the server so normally UDP is or will use for uh, retailing uh, uh, retailing uh, projects so since they are having handsets so once you, they use uh, means the, uh, suppose using handset they are going to re read uh, that um, uh, values from the uh, means items like uh, uh, groceries so once they, uh, the reader will read that uh, that item id and will send this uh, that code to the server server will be verify that and will communicate back to uh, reader so using udp uh, those uh, means uh, mostly re, um, retail projects will uh, using UDP will communicate I just wanted to this is very basic example and uh, so here I have explained how to configure UDP in our system and how to uh, communicate between the uh, using UDP and sender and uh, broadcaster I hope you got idea thanks Thanks for your time. Please keep watching my videos.